Attention pre-PA students and PA students. I am excited to announce that Get That C University will be launching this coming Sunday, October 11th. Get That C University is the coolest place to help you get into PA school and through PA school. So go right now to getthatcuniversity.com and sign up so you can be the first to know when the site launches. And in celebration of the launch of Get That C University, I will be coming out with a brand new video every day this week answering all of your questions. So leave a comment in the comment section below and tune in to see if your comment is one of those that I answer. Go on over to Get That C University right now and sign up so we can help you get that C. What's up you guys, sit down and welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to talk to you guys today. It's kind of a, uh, like a hybrid of a question that I got asked. I got asked the question, how do you stay in PA school? Um, which made sense to me because it's like once you've gotten in, well, how do you stay there, right? Because you don't want to get kicked out. So that is what this video is going to be about. I'll be talking to you about how do you continue on or get through PA school or not get kicked out of PA school, um, all of those things in this one video coming up. All right. So how do you not get kicked out of PA school or how do you like matriculate through PA school? And that is a question that I think a lot of us have when we're going into PA school because we hear like, oh my gosh, it's so hard. It's really difficult to get into PA school or, you know, it wasn't that difficult. Like um, for those of us or those of you that may have had like a really easy road to PA school, you know, you're like, oh, it wasn't too bad. So I know I'll make it. But for the majority, there is some type of like trepidation and a little bit bit of concern while you get into PA school, like how am I going to make sure that I make it through? So my main thing I think that everybody should really do, like I always talk about planning diligently, but in terms of getting through PA school, it's really all about making sure that you utilize all of the resources that you have available to you. Now, I think the tricky part is trying to figure out what those resources are and getting to know where you can access those resources. So obviously one of those resources is Adon the PA, right? But more specifically, Get That to University. Um, that is my new platform that is launching in one week. Um, so Mark, your calendars you guys because that will be happening this coming Sunday but on that platform I've created it specifically to help pre PAs get into PA school and PA students get through PA school so you're gonna be getting a lot of resources for retention one such resource is my personal like study guides that I made for each thing um, each of the various different like sections that we went through through my medical practice class. Now for me, my study guides were my lifeline. There I had like little case studies or sample um, HPIs of people that may be coming in with the particular disease process that I was actually like studying for that moment. I had little mnemonics that I made up. And then I always had, of course, like your symptoms, your diagnosis, your treatments and all of that, like all the clinical presenting signs that the patient might come up with and then how to treat it listed in my study guide. And this study guide was made from various different things like the PowerPoints and Pansper Pearls and Ross Review and other various different resources. But I want wanted it consolidated in one place that I could look at. And so for me, using those study guides was essential to helping me get through PA school. And I feel like it will be very beneficial to those of you that are in PA school right now. And so that's why I've added it as an option or as a resource for you to get when you sign up for my new platform, Get That C University. So that is one such resource. But like Get That C University, there are other resources out there. So there are things like Roche Review and Picmonic and Pants Prep Pearls and Smarty Pants and all of these various different websites and books that you can actually go and sign up for, yes, you you will be investing money. You'll be paying money to get onto these websites or buy these books. But in the grand scheme of things, I mean, it's a really small price to pay for this career that you've been like vying after for a long time and you're in school. So you're trying to matriculate. You're trying to ensure that you don't fall by the wayside and, you know, like flunk out or get kicked out or whatever the case may be. Okay. So definitely go and look up those resources, you know, 
kind of go through and see what money you have to spend where and put where and I think just bite the bullet and do it. And that's really, I think, one of the number one things that you should do. Um, find those like study resources. Now, another resource that is beneficial to you is obviously your classmates. So when I was in PA school, um, I had like my core group of you know friends that I would study with and then I had like other little groups that I would study with from time to time for different subject matters because I knew like there were things that I was really really strong in like anatomy and physiology but there were things that I may have been a little bit weaker in like pathophysiology so for the students that were stronger in that I I would study with them because it would just benefit me to glean that information from them. So when you are in school and like try to see the type of study habits that you have and then find the students that are stronger in the different subject matters and areas that you're weaker in um, because where they're they're weak, you might be strong, and where you're weak, they might be strong, and you guys can help each other. It can be a nice little symbiotic a relationship that you guys have, each gleaning from each other. Another resource that I very much think that you all should utilize is your particular school's like, um, library help area. So like, and in, in my program, there was like, an area where you can go in the library and get help for different subjects. Now, not everyone was like super helpful with respect to all of the matters of PA school, but when it came to like some of the other subject matters that you like in that, like my ethics class and some of those other things that you're like, okay, you know, like I know this stuff, but like help me get a better way of studying for it. That that particular um, area in the library, like my librarian that helped me out, like find books and all that that stuff, that was beneficial. Um, now it may be called something different or it called something specific at your school, but you can just ask them for uh, like your student services, where you would go to actually get the help um, on main campus for some of like study habits and study tips, okay? Now, like the big, big resource that you can also use, of course, is your teachers so for me I did a lot of like hey you know like I noticed that I got this wrong or um, you know I'm struggling a little bit with this concept is there some books that you might suggest that I go to look at or is there a website that I can go to that might have some information or can you help me specifically professor so-and-so um, just kind of grasp these concepts and never was any of my teachers like no Donna I'm not gonna help you, you gotta figure this out on your own. They were always willing, and most teachers are. Like, if you're not willing, then you're a pretty trash teacher, and I don't think that um, you would still be teaching at your particular program. So, definitely, I think that most of your teachers are gonna be extremely willing to help you because they want you to get out there and be great PAs and represent their schools and represent them, essentially, and, and the courses that they taught you. So they're gonna do their best to ensure that you are understanding the concepts that they're teaching you. Um, and if you're struggling, um, and they'll go through the concepts with you. Like my pathophysiology teacher like was the greatest. Honestly, like he would spend hours with us like outside of regular school hours or even sometimes during like lunch hours, our lunch hour and his to just be like, all right, let me help you get this concept. If you went to him and you were like, I'm struggling, okay? You're like, Dr. So-and-so, I'm struggling. Could you please help me with this? And he was always like willing and ready to help. And you know, that is like the signs of a great teacher, the ones that are willing to go far above and beyond to help the student understand the concept. But you have to take the initiative. And I think that is another thing, another tool that you can use to help yourself get through PA school. And that's taking the initiative. You can't just be like, all right, you know what? Like I failed this test, I failed that test, or I didn't really do good on this quiz is, but you know, I'll get it next time and that be that. No, you literally have to take the initiative to be like, all right, what was it that didn't make sense on this question? Did I just not know the question or the answer? Did I not understand the question? Did I misread the question? What was it that I saw or what was the information there that I missed or I didn't understand? And how can I now improve that going forward? And you have to really take that initiative because 
at the end of the day, you're gonna have people's lives in your hands and PA school is about the learning, but when you become a PA, you actually have to put what you've learned into practice. And so if you didn't really grasp the concepts or learn the concepts, then you can't put them into practice. You're gonna be practicing like haphazardly and, and poorly. So definitely take the initiative to search out your teacher and, and or these resources so that they can help you get through PA school. I think those are like the main, I guess, what was that, like top five things that you really should do that will help you get through PA school. Um, obviously there's more, but it all boils down to just ensuring that you are doing your part, that you are taking the initiative and you're doing exactly what you need to do to ensure that you can get all of the concepts that you're being taught and then apply them once the the test or the quiz um, is being set okay all right so i hope this was helpful um definitely go check out get that cuniversity.com and sign up because it is launching next week super excited about that um if you have not heard about it yet go on over there check out the little website um landing page sign up so that when it launches you can actually sign you know like be a part of everything um please follow me on instagram and on the pa like this video give me some more comments you guys because again I got this question from a comment. You know, I got this video from a comment. So I do read them. I do like implement them into my YouTube. So please drop me a comment um, on something that you may want me to do a video on and I will be happy to do so. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye. So go on over to getthatcuniversity.com right now and sign up so we can help you get that C. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? I can't. You can't. I can't. I can't keep that smile. It's weird. Uh, like and my mouth starts to go. This <laughs> <laughs> is freaking smile at the camera. Oh gosh. So go on over to get that C. Oh, oh freaking crap. <laughs> It's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Come on, baby. So go on. <laughs> We're done. We're done. We're done. Epic. <laughs>